and my car is in the garage yet again and I've got no idea when I'm getting it back. Good afternoon guys, how are you all doing? I've just finished work, picked Harley up and dropped the car off at the garage and I've just been talking to her, we don't know if I'll get the car back today or tomorrow or Monday <laughs> Typical, as soon as I start filming, somebody is doing his business. Dude, that's that's massive. I've got to clean that up now. Hold on. Good Lord, it was that big I've had to double bag it. <sighs> anyway, as I was saying, so I'm now heading towards Rother Valley. She said she doesn't know how long it's going to be. She says she'll give me a ring to let me know. And then we can decide whether or not I'm picking it up later or tomorrow. I've come prepared, I've got mine and Harley's water bottles just in case and it's not super hot and sunny today. In fact it's overcast which is why I have my raincoat, my thin one just in case. So if it does start raining I've got that to protect me. Right I better put you guys away, I'm about to cross a busy road. Oh despite the sun not being out it's very warm. <laughs> I've got a sweat on already been able to let Harley off now as we're heading towards Rother Valley. You don't want to see that. He's doing another one. <laughs> I'm already carrying one. Dude. Well at least this one's a smaller one. I've got to pick that one up now. Really hope he doesn't do any more because this poop bag is getting very heavy. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Trying to think what else it was I was going to say. Oh yeah, that was the other thing. If she was going to say, pick the car up tomorrow, I was actually going to head for a pub. One I went to last year with Harley. But that's in the opposite direction. So, did you notice I didn't point them because I've got the poop bag in my hand. I don't, didn't want to swing it around, it might hit me in the head. That would not be nice. It'd be funny for you guys, but not nice for me. I really hope there's a bin soon and um, I don't know if you guys are noticing the quality of the video is a little bit better than usual I've noticed something see when I first started making videos I always rendered to WMV file format your lens is filthy hold on that's better <laughs> wow this is a bit overgrown <sighs> and then of course when I got my camcorder and my new one which was two years ago now, I started filming in AVC HD. I didn't always render in that file format, so half the time it was WMV. And of course, when I got this camera, I started filming and rendering in AVC HD. The other day, on a whim, I decided, I wonder what MP4 looks like. So I rendered my last vlog in that file format, and that's what I uploaded to the internet. And wow, did it look a lot better. <laughs> who knew and I also rendered the last vlog three times WMV AVCHD and MP4 and put them all onto one DVD to see what that looked like because I don't know if you guys remember I think it was yeah it was just after I'd done my Scotland film I was talking about distortion on the DVD the f footage because for some reason the DVD maker I have does not like AVCHD it makes it all distorted so I decided to watch all three file formats on the DVD WMV as usual it's a little bit pixelated a bit dark a bit bland and then of course the AVCHD was like usual distorted wow it's dark under here but the MP4 looks so good no distortion the colors were vibrant it was brilliant so today I am filming in MP4 to see what that looks like after I've rendered it in MP4. Hopefully it's brilliant and if it is that's the file format I'll be using all the time from now on so we'll see. So here I am again talking about file formats and video sizes and frame rates not really just just the file formats. I'm not gonna go on too much about it it can get kind of boring. I've just realized something I'm following Harley and he's taking goes the long way around. Yeah, I don't mind. It's Friday. I'm not back to work until Monday night. Here we are at Rother Valley. Look, there's some ducklings running around. 
I think Harley wants to go in the water, but it looks a bit filthy. Don't go in there. You'll have to have a bath if you do. Babies. <laughs> oh yeah, yesterday uh, I went to go see Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom for the second time. This time with my cousin Kate. I didn't bother vlogging because we were literally there, film, home, done. But the thing is, she wanted to go and see it in 4DX, which means you sit in a chair that's rocking about and there's water being flung at you and air and hissing noises behind your ear and all that sort of thing. Yeah, I'd never been in 4DX before but I found it distracting. If I'd not seen the film already I would probably wouldn't have enjoyed it as much because I want to watch the film. But it did have the audience all laughing at the same time you know like when the chairs are moving and we're all going ooh and then whenever there was rainfall on the screen we got drenched with a spray of water and everyone's like ah so yeah i don't think i'd ever watch a film in 4dx again unless i've already seen it first but it was it was worth it worth to try out although i have to admit those seats are very uncomfortable after about an hour i saw that not only were i shuffling about trying to get a bit more comfy so was Kate and a few other people are in the audience they need to make them more cushioned I'm just noticing it's not that busy around here I mean there's a few people out on that water park and by the pub maybe there's more people around the other side mind you I keep forgetting it's only three o'clock on a Friday afternoon people are either still at work or just finishing school at least I think kids are at school. But you know something? I like it. It's nice and quiet. So I've had my phone call. I'm not getting my car back until Monday afternoon. <laughs> Apparently it needs a part to because it's the wiring that's gone again. And they can't get the part until Monday dinner time-ish or something. And I said to her it's fine because like I said earlier, I'm not back at work until Monday night, so as long as I have it back before then. So I'm going to be without my car for the entire weekend. It's a good thing I've got no plans. Uh, I'm not letting it bother me. I mean, at the end of the day, it could have been much worse. I could have had plans for the weekend. I could have not been working until Monday night. I, I'm glad I turned down Saturday and Sunday. They did ask. It's a good thing I said no because I wouldn't have been able to go. <laughs> Well, I'd have been able to go on the bus, but I didn't fancy doing that. Uh, anyway, now it's time to leave Roller Valley and take a long walk home. Ooh, bunny rabbits. I hope Harley doesn't see them. Right there. Mm. I think they've uh, run off. What was it I was saying? Oh yeah, it's time for me to leave Roller Valley and head on home. Wow, it only took us 50 minutes to get home. According to my phone, I have done 19,794 steps today. That includes when I was at work. And I have to say, my foot isn't hurting as much as it has been over the past eight months. I have got those soles in these trainers, but I've not really felt any pain. I can feel it aching right now because I've stopped. But whilst I've been walking, I've been fine. I hope that means it's getting better because my plan is as soon as my foot is better, I'm gonna be out there running. I need to start running again. I know I keep saying that, but I've got the itch to run. In fact, was it last Sunday? I took Carly for a walk down to the valley and I came to a hill and I just had to run and I ran up it. As soon as I got to the top, my foot was going, stop it, you're hurting me. <laughs> Well, it wasn't really doing that, but it was hurting. So hopefully it's getting better. We'll see. It's probably going to be another eight months or seven years like my shoulder and my neck and my back were. Saying that my shoulder has been hurting a bit lately. But that's because I believe I have tennis elbow. When I did my hedge the other week, my arm has been hurting since, especially on the elbow. And I had a medical at work yesterday. I'm supposed to have it like once a year. And I explained to her about my arm and she says, yeah, it does sound like tennis elbow. Yeah, I know, I'm falling to pieces. Just like my car. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. 
I really don't know what I'm going to do with myself this weekend. Maybe edit some videos that I've had stewing on my laptop for the past two weeks. Yeah, I think I'll get on with them at some point. All I know is I'm going to chill for the weekend. Just have a, a relaxing one. So with that being said, I'm going to sign off now. So I will say, I can't speak. <laughs> oh, my arm really is aching holding you guys up. I need to go. So I will say, thank you for watching and subscribing if you have. Until the next time, peace out. You know something? I can think of one awesome thing about not having a car. Cheers. Mm.